the two police stations, one a divisional police headquarters and the other a central police station, were set ablaze Thursday night by gunmen who were said to have carried out the massive attacks with the aid of improvised explosive devices. The four commercial banks that were ransacked with yet to be disclosed amount of money carted away are the branches of Unity Bank, First Bank, Access Bank and Keystone Bank. Also destroyed at the police stations were several vehicles, motorcycles and bicycles belonging to either officers and men of the police or impounded for one offence or the other. Though the Kasina State Commissioner of Police Abdullah Himagaji was not forthcoming on the number of casualties, competent sources told that no fewer than 12 persons may have lost their lives in the attacks on the police stations and the banks. Of this number, three are soldiers on guard duty in the banks, two policemen killed in the blast within one of the police stations, while six of the fleeing attackers were killed in an exchange of fire with the police who gave them a hot chase. Also, the fleeing gunmen reportedly abandoned some of the improvised explosive devices which were displayed by the police before newsmen at the palace of the Emir of Daura, Alhaji Farouk Umar Farouk. The police commissioner, in an exclusive interview, that the police is still monitoring the situation but assured that a comprehensive statement on the incident will be made public soon. It's robbery as far as I'm concerned because they broke into the banks and stole some money and uh, their target is money and they've got some money. So I believe they, they robbed two banks, but they broke almost three banks, but they robbed two. We recover some arms and ammunitions too. We recover this in many different places because we have pursued them and uh, we arrested some, I mean, we, we, we got them. Also at Daura, to assess the extent of destruction caused by the attacks, was the speaker of the Kasina State House of Assembly, Yao Uma Gojo Gojo, who assured that the legislature will continue to assist the security agencies to provide maximum security for Nigerians. We thank the security agents, agency and the, and the local government because they, and the soldiers because they put effort in order to curtail this uh, incidents. Because from what we have seen, uh, we, we, we thank Allah SWT because uh, the level of damage and uh, there is no loss of life uh, also, the three soldiers and the two policemen, uh, but uh, in the in the incidents. But uh, uh, in terms of the civilians, there is no any loss of life. So, and also we are calling to the citizens to go back to their normal business and continue praying, and also cooperate with the security agency in the in the state, because government is doing all it is. Uh, everything possible to see that uh, the the, uh, the security agency they assist them and the, the security agency is doing their best to see that they cover everything. At the time of filing this report, the state deputy governor Abdullah Higaruba Faskari was reportedly on his way to Daura to obtain a first hand information on the attacks which have brought commercial activities in the town to a very low aim.